Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. She's sitting right there. She's sitting right there. Please welcome to the channel, Ashley Gray. Hello. <laughs> I wanted it to be like you. You're like, hello. Hello. Oh, can you pinch me? Pinch me. Pinching. It's, no. this She's is real. real. No, She's real. real. No, Nikki, I'm a fan. I've been a fan. I've I've been watching from afar, and now mm -hmm. like it, it feels like my dream has come true that you get to actually do my makeup now. I'm I'm so dead serious, <laughs> and I want like the ultimate beat. Oh, you're getting the I want ultimate, the ultimate beat. beat. I just want to say before we start, you are such an inspiration Thank to you. all of us, especially to me because I'm like yes, plus size queen. Hello, right? Curvy queen. I just want to say keep going because you're like you're inspiring us all to like not care as much and to love ourselves a bit more. Yep. Um, so I'm care. so I'm like team. You can put however much makeup you want on your face, and this is team. You look. Exactly. So today we're going to be playing with... I'm so excited. This is insanity. I have a lip kit with Revlon. So I'm seeing red. Yes. Lots and lots of reds. Yes. This is like a very bright red. So you get a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So we're going to be playing with this today. Yes. And of course we need a full ass beat on that eye too. So let's go. Yes. Let's go there. Take me there. Okay. Come on. Look at thigh game, thigh game, <laughs> thigh game. Okay, so what are you gonna do to me? Well, since we're centering a around the red lip, I'm like, yes, so since... I know. <sighs> <sighs> I wanted to do this like super soft, diffused, naked eye. Okay. No, I'm kidding. I was like, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Probably like some some earthy glam tones. Are we going like taupey, bronzy? Pulling it out. Warmer. Okay, got yes. it. These are so good. Have you played with these yet? No, it's my first time. Okay, so these are kind of like magic. They just go on like perfectly. First, we're gonna play with the face. So I wanted to prime, but then I touched her face and I was like, no, okay. I know, I have, like I am all about moisture. I love moisture. Moisture is the essence of beauty. I'm gonna marry you. This is, <laughs> you know, like for real, what you just did, this is what I do to my boyfriend. He goes, do you want a drink? I go, yes. Yeah. No, I always talk in creepy voice. You I do that? Not. Can I do this one too? Oh, I don't do that one. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a bad girl. <laughs> For foundation, we're gonna be using. Wait, I'm obsessed with these because they don't go into your fine lines. They, they don't? No, they don't go you into your fine You have any? Yes, under your, everybody has like a couple. Oh, yeah. Like, right? Mm. 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 Do you like to put moisture, or, um, concealer and foundation on with a brush instead of your hands? No. Oh, really? Uh, you do both? No, just do it on you. <laughs> I was like, let me look like a professional and do it with a brush first and then go in with a sponge after so she thinks I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody has their own technique. And I mean, it's like, I don't know how many people have touched my face and everybody has their own thing. Some people start with the face, some people start with the eye, some... I'm, nobody's ever started with the lip. Now, that's something I've never seen before. Then you're not gonna see it today. <laughs> Tell me, how do you like connect to makeup? I mean, the the same story that a lot of girls have is like I was always in my mom's makeup drawer. Yeah. Um, with the lipstick mm -hmm. and the nail polish, forget it. But my mom let me start wearing makeup in middle school. And we would go to the department store and we would go to like all of the different makeups and it was all about getting all the mini sizes. She just let me play and do whatever I wanted and I could wear as much makeup as I wanted I love in like sixth grade. And so I had like a full foundation. Now the problem is I didn't know how to blend. Mm -mm. So you know like jawline foundation? Still happens to me daily. Ay, 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 ay. It was constant. I never knew how to do eyeliner. I still to this day don't know how to do eyeliner. You'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> it sense of fears. It really does. Yes, but she just always let me wear it, and That's it was amazing. It was never something that she she held back. Let me hold back. She was just like, yeah, have fun. Da -da -da. Oh, Whatever. I love that. Yeah. And I just always, I guess it, I guess I just always um, liked to play with makeup, and I never just like that. I never remember not wearing it. I love that. So were you an eye gal or like a lip? I've always kind of been an eye gal, uh -huh. and then more in the last couple of years, as I've been doing like more editorials and people have been really like painting my face in different ways, yeah. I've realized 
I do look good with the lip. See, I feel like we're the same because I've always been just about the eyes. Yeah. And then I got lip filler and I was like, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> does it feel weird to get lip filler? No. It doesn't? What does it feel like? Like lips. Really? Yeah. Mm. You just wake up and it's like, oh, there's more lip. Wait, so when they put it in, yes. does, do you automatically see it fill in? Yeah. Wow. It's like automatic. Okay, so I'm buffing this in. I okay. only want to use what's necessary, and since your skin is literally <laughs> got some heaven from above, oh my god, uh -huh. we there don't go. need much. So I feel like this is more than enough. It is completely melted into the skin. We still see your freckles. Don't you just love freckles? We're even gonna like enhance the frecks a bit. You are? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use a feather of concealer under the eye okay. to brighten. Tell me, what's your favorite color? Don't For say makeup? red. For makeup? Just overall, like in life. I don't have a favorite color. Oh no. Is that weird? I have one. What? Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me yesterday. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Yep. No, I'm a gold girl. I'm always. Oh, I in, love gold. I'm always in. See, that's my. Then you know what? My favorite color is gold. And now Good. diamonds. Because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yes. Wait. Ready? <laughs> diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> ah! Okay. Please look up for me. Looking up. I tell you what, I've had such a long day. I was jumping Same. and making all these insane like motions with my hair. I was I was like oh. that freak on set like, that was like rah, rah! and they were like gorgeous, you know, when they're like <laughs> scream like a tiger, and you're like, do tigers scream? And they're like rah! like that was my day. I love how you still have energy. Yeah, it's called B12. <laughs> <laughs> if you said, yeah, it's called vitamin D, I'd be like, oh, girl. <laughs> well. So I actually don't like really want to set this because it still looks good, but I'm just going to use a bit of powder under the eye, and then we will see, like. Because you just put powder where, where you don't want the makeup to move, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If it feels at one point like your eye is dry, good. Okay. That's. Okay, good. Check. What it's supposed to feel like. How was your fashion week? So good. Because Miss is like making moves. I, I did walk two shows. Congratulations. I walked Christian Seriano and Pravo Garan, and they were both amazing. Mm -hmm. And two designers that have always put, not always, but like in the last few years, have been dedicated to keeping curvy women in their fashion shows. Exactly. Round of a freaking applause for you, both of you. There are a lot of you know, things that are that are changing in the fashion industry. Thank God. I know. Have you felt a difference in Europe? Mm, in Holland, yes. But gotta be like Milan and everything. Mm -mm. I know. No. But I also feel like it's because I feel like now finally women find the courage to say something about it. Mm -hmm. Whereas before they were like, okay, I'm just gonna walk away from it. Of course. But I think now also we have a voice because of social media and we're able to tell brands what we want and they have to listen to us otherwise we're just not going to go buy their products. Exactly. Calling them out in 2019. Hello, we're calling you out. And that's honestly another reason I love working with Revlon because they were the first brand, cosmetics brand in mm -hmm. this in this uh, in my generation that actually said, "Well, lipstick doesn't have a size." Do you know Patrick Star? Of course I know Patrick Star. His like life motto is beauty has no size. Like yeah. beauty's a one yeah. size fits all. Yeah. Thank you. We love you, Patrick. What else do you love doing when you do your makeup? So you love your eyes. I love my eyes. I'm a mascara fanatic. I am a really? Tammy Faye. Like I I want to be Tammy Faye. <laughs> Tammy Faye, honey! <laughs> Look at those. I am always a Tammy Faye lash girl. So you're happy that I brought all of this? Yes. Oh, thank God. However, oh. there is a really good mascara that's not on this table. It's called So Fierce. Right. Okay, so I go right right uh, eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, recurl, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye, and you don't need lashes. Wait, I just like how you have me in a headlock right now. <laughs> I know, I need to finish this, <laughs> this goddamn brow at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was like, like, come here. I'll do it like that. 
Come to mama. And I'm all about a lip liner too. <gasps> I feel like lip liners really making like a move. It re I feel like everybody's using lip liner now and before they were afraid of it. But now I feel like it's the basis of a good lip. I agree. <sighs> Say it louder for the people in the back. It's a basis for a good lip. If you're not using a lip liner, use it now. Okay. Okay. Liking everything so far? She's mm -hmm. like, I hate it. No, Trash. cute. My hair's a little frizzy, but that doesn't matter. We are twins. I do that. Oh, you Saliva do? for everything. No, but look, it's gone. So I take a bit of concealer. Okay. And then right underneath, I'm just gonna clean up the brow a bit. It's just gonna make it look more fresh. Oh, I see. Some would call it an Instagram brow. But to those people, I say no. She's carving people. You obviously are like the the spokesperson for like more sizes, more like variety in the modeling business. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the future going? Do you like what do you see happening now more than ever? We're having this constant conversation. It's not just a conversation anymore. People are actually going into action. Yes. You're seeing girls on the runways that look like us. You're yep. seeing girls in campaigns that look like us. Yep. Covers, TV, film. Now, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. And 20? I have, oh isn't that God. crazy? I'm 31. You're 31? Yes. Oh my God, girl. Did you see she just scanned my face to make sure that I looked appropriate? But I think that what I really want to see is that we don't have to have this conversation of, of diversity, that it just already all is it's there. natural. Exactly, because yeah. that's how the world is. Like we are all created so differently and- Thank God. I know, but we need to, but we need to be able to embrace that and have this natural kind of conversation around it instead of saying like, oh, there's a big girl in a magazine. Oh, we've, exactly. got, we've got our black people. Oh, well, we've got to make sure that we've got all genders and da, da, da. And it's like, just I include know. everybody. Like that's at the end of the day, like that's just it. Do you know what I did this morning? Tell me. I got a root canal. <gasps> My husband got a root canal this morning. My hair needs to be in a high pony or something. Do you want it to be in a high pony? I don't know. Do you want it to, do you want it to be, do you want to feel snatched? Do you want to do it? Do you, should I? Sure. No. We can. David will kill me. David, you better put a high ponytail in this girl, okay? So what's eyeshadow base? What? I don't use eyeshadow base. Can you repeat that, what? I don't use no, no. eyeshadow base. Cut to Lopez gave me a quick pony. Thank you. Because, you know, sometimes in life you just need your personal hairstylist to like snatch you. Yeah, hello. So I have a heavy eyelid. What? You mean hooded? Kind of like, yeah, it's like heavy. Is it called a hooded? Mm-hmm. But it's heavy. Not that hooded though. So what's your trick with eyeliner? With oh, you, a hooded you just, eye? You just go up. And I'm not defying gravity. <laughs> That's my liner. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so right now we are just applying a bit of depth to like push the crease into its little pocket. Right now, I'm taking a teensy tiny blender brush to take a deeper shade of brown. And we're just blending and snatching life. You were just like <laughs> blending into the deepest, darkest crevice of your <laughs> eye. <laughs> and I was like, of your Oh, <laughs> I see. In my head, it's a little dirtier I love, I love than in real life. Your... So we're just Deepening that crease even more. Deepening. I love how we just add the tiniest bit of shadow and you're already like, supermodels, hey, <laughs> supermodels, hey. Oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. That's oh. exactly what we needed. I, yes. So where where are you like um, shopping right now? Um, online. Where? Because, oh, ASOS. Do you, you, you're an ASOS girl? Oh my God, I get everything there. They have an amazing curve section. They do, and I am so happy that finally there's affordable curve clothes. That look good. Yes, because all we want is fashion. And we don't want to look like our grandma. Exactly, I've had, there's so many basics. I'm so tired of the basics. My size has always been something that is the topic, right? Yeah. And because, it's always been very mind boggling to me because the average size American woman is a size 14, 16. And to have fashion industry just say like, well, that's not beautiful. Right. And we'll have one of those types of women in a magazine in a year. Um, so that yeah. that was very hard. I mean, I even to this day, just the end of last year, 
had a stylist. I couldn't fit into these pants. And she oh, the smashed worst. the side of my thighs. And she said, Ashley, if you just got rid of that right there, you'd be able to fit into these pants. Yeah. Please tell me you left. No, I didn't leave because I told her, because I'm going to stand up for myself. And that's what I think Good. everybody should be able, or should be doing is standing up for themselves. And I said, okay, look, you know that first of all, I'm not going to lose weight to fit into a, a pair of pants. And second of all, you know, you know who I am. Like I am, I'm not about conforming to people like you. Right. And she said, oh, you know, I'm just joking. No, that's not joking. I know. And it was really interesting because she had said it in front of a bunch of um, skinny models. Oh, and great. one of them came up to me and said, hey, I just want to let you know, like, I appreciate you standing up for yourself. Oh. So it's, it's still to this day is something that is one of the biggest hurdles. But I think that also beauty was a really big hurdle. And if you ask any girl, any girl that is bigger, curvier, can't fit into certain clothes, what are like the biggest things in her closet? She will always say makeup, she'll always say shoes, bags, and yep. jewelry. Because they always fit. All of those things fit. It's been great to see how people have really been following suit. Thank you for not giving up. Never. You know what's something my mother told me? She's so prophetic, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, calm down, mom. Yeah, I'm like, mom, that's weird. <laughs> but when I was 18, I called her and I'm crying one day. And I said, I'm done. I can't do this thing anymore. I can't do this modeling thing. People want me to lose weight. And I, and I just don't, I don't, I can't. And my career's about to end. Mm. And she told me, this is the prophecy. Your body's going to change someone's life one day. You have to stay in New York City. And I was like, I, what, mom, what? Come like, down. you know, 18 years old. Like, you don't really hear your mom. And uh, I and she said, and the other thing is, you have to s finish what you started, and that, that really made me stay in New York and and keep fighting through. And I'm glad that I did because here I am, and changing lives. Yes, and people need to see bodies like ours. Yes, because we are the norm. We are beautiful. Our bodies are not offensive in any way, shape, or form. Look up for me, and whatever you do, keep looking up. Okay. Okay. Already so proud of you. So proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm just gonna tilt your head a little bit. I should do the whole interview like this. <laughs> Stop. I can't <laughs> laugh. I can't, oh. I can't do it. Stop it. I did brush my teeth before I came in with one of those like Colgate toothbrushes. You know where you like burst the thing in your mouth? Do you guys have those? This is the only thing that I brush my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can't I'll look stop. at you. I'll I can't stop. look. <laughs> Is it dry right yet? <laughs> no. Should I do a top knot like you? Sure. Should we do one more hair change? Uh, of course. You better come here, you girl. Throw me a bobby pin. You are the host of the American, American Beauty, Beauty Star. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yes. Have you been watching it? Uh, no, because Be I live in Holland. Okay. So that's a challenge for that's me. That's okay. And we'll make sure to send you the, thank you so the much. clips. Who wins? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a live finale. <gasps> so actually, you should that's come new. to the live finale. When is it? Get Nikki tutorials to the live finale. Hello? <laughs> we need Nikki tutorials at the live finale. It's happening. Okay. Basically, we've been having so much fun. This season is all about hair and makeup. And as an artist, you have to be good at both of them. Right. And not everybody's good at hair and makeup. Nope. So um, I think that was a challenge for some of the contestants. But for some of them, they're really pulling through. We're highlighting, actually. Color stay endless glow. So I have to say, it dries quickly. Thank you for yes. letting me. So when you use it, just work. You just know that you have to work with it right gotta... away. Oh, are we ready for this? Yeah, are you? Oh, no, we weren't. Oh, my god. Oh. Oh, this is giving me everything. Where else do you put highlighter that people normally wouldn't put highlighter? On my boobs. Do you? Yeah. Like on the swell of it? Like in the, the crack. Right, so like right oh, there. there. Mm. Oh, this is, so, oh, look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh! <gasps> wow. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop some lashes on. Okay. And then we'll be back. Oh, okay. We're fanning. Do you feel that? Mm hmm Good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Our lovely Mrs. Graham is gonna tell us more about the never enough lip. Okay, so I call, it's called worship. Oh. 
<laughs> but it is also the never enough lip. It is. We love being because informed. Because it's never enough. I called it worship because I feel like you should be, this should be a ritual. Like putting on lipstick, putting on makeup is like a ritual. Yeah. And you should be worshiping the own ground that you walk on. Self-love, honey. Self-love. Oh my God. Do you I like? look so glam. I love it. Too glam to give a hoot. Valentine's Day realness when I come home. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Worship Lip Liner. And I like to start right in the center. Look. Okay. I do have a little bit of moisturizer on my lips already, which sometimes people don't like. But, am I, am I doing a good technique, Nikki? No, you're doing a new technique. You're doing the gram. It's a new technique? Yeah, you come like from, like from the, Bottom, like uh -huh. you hold it like this. I just like you go like this. Yes. Oh no, that's too much for me. So like things like that. Who cares, right? Who cares? I don't that care I about that. Like that doesn't. That doesn't matter. Oh, no, you're covering okay, it good. up. That's what I thought. Wow, I just did the whole streak like on its own. Do you ever color in the whole lip then? No. Oh. Sometimes I do that. Glitter package. Glitter. Wait, how do you guys do it? Glitter. Oh, that's a good color. It is, and look, it just goes right smack dab on. Smack ah, dab all on ah, ah. I've seen you do that before. The sound. Ah. ah. See, it's like a bright red. It's like cherry. I and like then, that. And then do you do a little? Yes, always connect people. Always connect. Do you think that eyebrows should be cousins or sisters? Uh, or twins. Uh, um, adopted. Adopted? Mine never looked the same. Don't touch. Clean up on aisle Graham. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thumbnail. What are you doing? How do you want it? Mm. Do you like? I love it. What do you think? This is such a red carpet look to me. <gasps> Let's hit it. Mmm. 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 Nikki mm. tutorial! tutorials <laughs> thank you so much i feel beautiful all right you guys and that is the completed look on ashley tutorials nikki tutorials you look phenomenal thank you i feel phenomenal thank you my heart is crying happy tears all right everybody so thank you so much for watching this amazing video if you enjoyed watching it please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check Ashley out on her socials. Right? Yes. Yes. At all of them. And Ashley also, Graham. please, let's take a moment. Yes. Don't Get sleep your on lip it. Kits. It's called Worship at Rev. Long. It's bomb. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, it's bomb! <laughs> Love you guys! Bye! Subscribe here!